Hey ladies, so let's do a quick hydrating base face that is not gonna settle into your lines and creases, all those little crevices that we have as we get older. So the first thing that I did was I added my hydrating primer. This is going to hydrate all day long. It's going to not settle into my fine lines and wrinkles or let my makeup not settle into my fine lines and wrinkles. I added just a little bit extra under here. I'm feeling a little dry these days. And so just to make sure nothing settles into I also into really there. like this mattifying primer. It has snow mushrooms in it, which is an anti-aging extract. And so I really like that too. You really want to put it just all over your face. It's really going to help everything just stay on where it belongs. Okay, so the foundation that we're going to use today is our BB Flawless in the color bisque. I really like this because it hydrates all day long. It helps your skin look dewy. It helps keep that moisture in. It also isn't going to um, settle into those fine lines and wrinkles. Now, I like to use it on a damp beauty blender. You just get it wet and squeeze everything out. I also then squeeze it into one of my makeup towels um, just to make sure that it, it gets out, all the water gets out. You don't want it wet, but you want it damp. And I just add a couple of drops there. You can also use a kabuki brush. The thing about using something flat is that if you're doing this with your makeup, especially if you have more mature skin, you might miss some of those wrinkles and fine lines or life lines as I like to call them. Um, think about it this way. If you didn't smile and laugh a lot, you wouldn't have those lines. And so that's why I'm not super bothered by them. <laughs> but I do want to look my best, right? So the, the reason that I press or stipple is because then it gets into everywhere where it needs to be without um, like tugging at my face or anything like that. All right, so let's just get this on super quick. This is a great foundation if you need extra hydration, as I said, because as we get older, our skin needs more and more hydration. Okay, now that that is on, okay, now as you're finishing, you want to pull that down the neck because you never want your face and your neck to look different. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our concealer. Now I'm gonna use two different types of concealer. As you get older and things begin to dry or thin out here, as you can see, you get a little bit of a hollow. So what I like to do is take a concealer, this is the color satin, close to my skin tone. Um, you, I'm going to kind of color correct under there. Go ahead and use either a flat top or a little brush, I should say, um, or your finger, although you know how I feel about using my finger, and you're just gonna put it right there. Just tap it, and all we're doing is getting rid of this hollow that seems to appear out of nowhere as you get older. Isn't that amazing? And then you just want to blend it, just like that. And then when you look up, that hollow is gone. just like that. Isn't that a, like an amazing trick? Okay, the next color that we're going to use is a shade lighter than my foundation. This is the shade Scarlet. Again, you just want to use that same brush. Now you can totally apply this with the applicator. However, remember as you get older, less is more. So you really don't want a lot of product. So I'm just going to tap it here. I'm going to pull it right into the corner of the eye and just bring it down just a little bit like that. Again, Less is more, you do not need a lot, just like that. So let's go ahead and blend one side. We're still going to use, whoa, <laughs> we're still going to use this sponge and we're just gonna tap it in and down, just like that. The reason I go down is because it also diffuses what I call these marionette lines. And then this just look, helps everything look more lifted and bright. So let me do this side super quick. One more little trick that I can give you is to take your brush after my eyeshadow, because as you can see, I made a little bit of a mess. You can take your brush and you can, from the corner of your eye to your temple, just pull this line this way. What that does, number one, is it cleans up any mess you may have made, and it also helps everything look lifted. As you get older, that's what you want. You want everything to look more youthful and lifted because 
everything begins to fall as we get older. I don't know why that, I don't know why. God there you that. go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of bronzer. This is the color sunset. These are retiring. They brought them back for just a short time, limited time. As you can see I've hit pan on this one. I do not have another one. <laughs> so we're just gonna take a big fluffy brush, just like this. We're just gonna sweep it across and then we're gonna start where the sun might hit your face. All right, so where the sun might hit my face is here. And then it might hit my face here. And then we're just gonna take it and bring it down like this. That way everything looks cohesive, okay? So let me do the other side. That just gives a healthy glow, as you can see, just a beautiful, healthy glow to get you going. And now we're gonna use the color Sisterly as a blush. We're gonna take a, another blush brush, just gonna sweep it across, and then I'm not gonna put it on the apple of my cheeks. When you put, as you get older, 30 or under, go ahead and do this, 30 and above, I would rethink it if I was you. When you put something right here, it makes everything look heavy and downward, and that is not the goal. So what you wanna do is kind of start right here. Don't go past here. I like to start in my temple and just press it in right on your cheekbone. I'm right on the bone or slightly under it, just like that, okay? And then that just provides a little bit of a glow. Again, if you're 30, 35 or under, go ahead and put it on your cheeks. Helps you look super rosy. It does not do that for me. A little secret that I learned from JLo's makeup artist is that when they want someone to look older, what they do is they will put blush on their cheekbone, on their apple of their cheeks. Pretty interesting, right? Now we're gonna use a, an illuminator. Do not be afraid of using the illuminator. It's okay, it's gonna be all right. Um, you just add a little bit to your brush, very little to your brush. Now you don't wanna go right on the cheekbone or like right close to your eye because what that's gonna do is really um, illuminate those lines and wrinkles under there. So you wanna go right on top of the blush that you've got there. And what that's gonna do is it's just going to, when you're talking to your friends, it's just gonna add a little glow up. And you're like, oh, they're like, oh, what is on your face? And you're like, well, it's my illuminator. Thank you. <laughs> so let me do the other side super quick. I'm scraping you guys. I cannot wait till they come out with another one. And there you go. So now all I would do is do my mascara, put on a lip gloss or a lipstick, and then I would be about my day. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, if you'd like to be color matched with your very own BB cream, let me know down in the comments and I can do that for you. All right. I hope you have a